Good morning, folks. Power news today is we've got a lot of key items to discuss. Right now you're seeing some crackling at bright magnetic fields, so let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on the sun were quite calm once more. Departing coronal hole is already impacting Earth. Incoming opening will take Earth's magnetic connection tonight. The bright area amidst the incoming coronal hole is that little sunspot group which has failed to develop any further over the last 36 hours. Solar wind crested in intensity last night. There's the density wave we saw yesterday, followed by the coronal hole stream itself. It is beginning to fade now, but not before producing an extended period of geomagnetic instability. I've mentioned before that these connections would offer no break from seismic risk, even after taking three six-pointers in two days. Its solar wind stream won't impact until the weekend or early next week. Now hold that thought as GO-16 is once again missing some time points in the run as of this morning, so instead we'll go to their featured zoom on the Catatumbo Lightning in Venezuela, one of the most consistently flashing areas on Earth. In terms of those coronal hole effects, we have shown three great papers in the past on extratropical formation during coronal hole stream impact. There's one. And in terms of that no break from seismic risk, 6.6 .6 in the Aleutian Island chain of Alaska. That is three in that state just this week. We are now just one day away from matching the magnitude 7 earthquake drought from last year, but perhaps just as interestingly, the last three excess magnitude events all struck volcanoes. The Hawaiian rumble started its eruptive phase. So far, Rinjani has been quiet. Time to see about Alaska here soon. Let's go next to what must be the strangest exoplanet known. Not only is that Kelt 9b scorching with a titanium and iron atmosphere, but it is orbiting its host star pole to pole instead of around the equator. The exoplanet's tidally locked sun's side is just a shade cooler than our sun. Dr. Lisa Upton is one of the top three most important solar forecasters on Earth. She delivered Cycle 25 prediction at last year's conference, but has now updated her work with new data. The upcoming solar cycle is forecasted to be weak once again, about 95% to just slightly stronger than this cycle. However, she does state that it is time to see if this modern minimum will be short like Dalton's or if it is a true grand minimum, like the Maunder minimum. They claim we just walked through the door. She'll be updating the forecast and discussing solar dynamics and once again available for all of our grand solar minimum questions. Come on out and meet her, Dr. Tinsley, Burkepile, Robitaille, and more. I'll see you in the desert. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.